my shampoo, you use that all the time, right? All the time, at least twice a day. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's how I get these luscious locks right here. <laughs> In the meantime, a dry day for us. Lots of sunshine out there. Blue sky overhead. Martinsville at 69. Blacksburg at 58 because you had that fog earlier in the day. Roanoke at 65. So a nice day for lunch outside. Eventually, as we go through the rest of the afternoon, temperatures are going to warm up a little more. I think we're in the upper 60s in the NRV. Most of us, though, in the low to mid 70s. So still a very nice day for you. Roanoke, Martinsville in the low 70s. Lexington, Lynchburg in the low 70s as well. Danville topping out right around 74 degrees. Then as we head through the rest of the night tonight, the clouds are going to start to provide a little bit of a blanket for us heading into tomorrow morning. Temperatures still on the cool side as we drop down to about 49 to 53 degrees. Future tracker around 10 p.m. still showing a clear sky, but watch what happens. You start to see the clouds coming on in from the southeast. That's the wedge that we track around here pretty often, and we're going to see that in place as we head through the middle of the day tomorrow. Mostly cloudy sky overhead, though you might start to see some sunshine breaking out in parts of the NRV and the Mountain Empire. So tomorrow going to be a cooler day for us with more clouds throughout the day. 64 in the NRV tomorrow, 65 in the Highlands, temperatures upper 60s across south side. Then as we head into Wednesday, we start to tap into a little more moisture. Still, we'll be cool with temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Rain chances start to increase later in the day as we go into Wednesday. So let's show you the broad view here and show you that moisture starting to come on in from the southwest. And so that's coming in ahead of a cold front. That's really going to be our story for Thursday, but rain developing late in the day on Wednesday. Let's track this cold front now and watch as it goes from the left hand side of your screen towards the center. That's going to give us a few showers Thursday. I do think we see a few hours Thursday where things dry out. Then along this front is when we're going to track a heavier line of rain, which as of right now, this computer model has west of the area for trick or treating. Really hoping that that continues to be the case. One thing we'll have to watch out for is some colder air on the back side of the line may try and push it quicker to the east. So hopefully that doesn't happen because then that would get in the way of some trick or treating. Early look at your trick or treat forecast though shows things are going to be generally warm upper 60s and low 70s and for right now I'm going to keep the chance for rain in there around 7 or 8 p.m. Again that may change by a few hours as we head through the next few days. Otherwise as that cold front passes through things start to really drop off. Temperatures are actually going to drop through the day on Friday. The wind picking up too helping to blow in that colder air for the weekend. So as we continue to track this forecast for you, we'll provide you with the latest updates right here on air, but also on the app. You can get the current radar, any alerts if they're issued, and customized forecast updates sent to your phone at least twice a day. Lynchburg area forecast looking like this. Temperatures in the low 70s for today, middle 60s tomorrow with more clouds. Temperatures low to mid 60s. On Wednesday with rain showers developing later in the day and then probably two batches of rain Thursday as of right now looks to be one in the morning and one later at night before we really cool down for the weekend. That's how things are looking for the Roanoke Valley as well. We're in the low 70s today, middle 60s tomorrow, cooler Wednesday with those shots of rain coming in on Halloween. Then check it out as we head into the weekend. We fall back in time on Sunday, but temperatures falling back too. kind of typical for November though as you see hides there in the 50s and lows at night in the 30s.